So what's good, TMG fam? It's your boy L, and I'm back with another reaction. How y'all feel? Welcome back to the channel. Salute, man. And this next place really needs no type of introduction, fam. I mean, when it comes to scariest, deadliest, can get you up out of here in a quick, fast, in a hurry minute, it's the Amazon, bro. One place you definitely don't want to land or be stranded. The Amazon, fam. Like, <laughs> I don't even believe they've discovered everything in the Amazon that can take you out of here. So this video is, they captured in the Amazon what no one was supposed to see. All right? So listen, if you're new to the channel, man, hit that subscribe button. Join the fam. Here we go. How much do you know about the Amazon rainforest? It spans across nine South America. You can never know enough about the Amazon, I feel like. American countries, and 20% of oxygen in the world is produced here. About 80% of the developed world's organic food originates in this amazing place. And at 4,344 miles, the Amazon is the longest river in the world. 4,344 miles. Woo. Had to say that back to myself, 4,344 miles. And you're not gonna believe this strange secrets this rainforest holds. Lost tribes, giant animals, boiling rivers, and aliens. The significance of this place is hard to overestimate. But have you ever wondered what surprises await you in this massive jungle? Here are 15 of the most chilling things you'll only see in the Amazon. Number 15. Anaconda slithers out of cave. While excavating a cave near the Belo Monte Dam in Brazil. Bro, you see how big that, that didn't just slither out. <laughs> no, you say slither when you talk about something small. That? This monster revealed itself, a huge anaconda. It weighed over 800 pounds and measured a staggering 33 feet long. And it's being called the- Oh, it looked like it ate everything in the cave. Biggest snake in history. And big is an understatement. Construction workers found the reptile after a controlled explosion blew open a cave, and this was waiting inside. A member of the boa family, the Amazon's green anaconda is the largest snake in the world. Like other boas, anacondas lack venom. Instead, they lie in wait for an unsuspecting animal. Then, they lunge, ambushing their prey, holding their prey in their jaws. Then they wrap their bodies around the animal until it suffocates. That's when their powerful jaws attached by super stretchy ligaments allow them to swallow their prey whole. Obviously, this anaconda would have no problem making a construction worker a meal. Plus, they can go weeks or months without food after they eat. Truth is, this corner of South America is well versed when it comes to these giant serpents, with accounts of anacondas growing up to 30 feet. This serpent eclipses that by three feet. There must be something in the water in the Amazon. Now, let's get ready for today's open discussion. Speaking of giant snakes, there was an even more enormous serpent in the tropical jungles of South America some five million years after the extinction of the dinosaurs, the Titanoboa. It grew to up to 50 feet long and weighed as much as 2,500 pounds. That's as long as a semi-truck and about twice as heavy as the biggest bear. Do you think this snake about to devour a helicopter is this legendary but very real super serpent? Some scientists think it killed by constricting and asphyxiating its prey, while others argue that it behaved like an anaconda, sneaking around the shallows, ambushing animals with a powerful bite, and swallowing its giant prey whole. All I keep hearing is Ice Cube say, the snakes out there this big, and rolling that long snake skin out. Sna and Jennifer Lopez, snakes don't eat people. Do saying, oh, they don't. <laughs> the death of the dinosaurs left a hole at the top of the food chain, and this titan snake filled it properly. And there are rumors that snakes like this might still live in the Amazon. Do you think so? Yes. Use the comment section yes. below to start the conversation with the hashtag yes. open discussion. Yes. You want to know a little secret? If you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you'll have superpowers for the rest of your life. So what are you waiting for? Time to fly. Number 14, creepy giant ant eaters. When it comes to this unusual animal in the Amazon, looks can be deceiving. There's more to the story of the giant ant eater. This unique animal is the largest of the four ant eater species, about the size of a large dog, 
but thick, bushy hair makes it look even bigger. Its name is a hint to one of its favorite foods, and you can't miss its long snout. The giant anteater's elongated head and nose are perfectly designed to get in and out of a termite mound or anthill. The crazy thing about these creatures is that although they have poor vision, bad hearing, and no teeth, anteaters can be deadly. Recently, a gruesome anteater attack left one hunter dead, just two years after another man was killed in a similar confrontation with one of these long-nosed creatures. Can you- Now look how slow he moves and he walking up on you. It looks like he don't pose a threat. Can you even imagine? While such incidents are rare and anteaters usually avoid contact with humans, the attacks should serve as a warning to humans encroaching on their territory. They have four sharp claws on both of their forelimbs that they can use to quarry anthills and termite mounds, and apparently to inflict fatal wounds on humans. The creatures assume a standing position when they feel threatened, sometimes referred to as an anteater's hug, but they're not looking for affection. It's a red flag. Number 13, Amazonian Stonehenge. This pre-colonial astrological observatory in the rainforest was built to be aligned to the sunrise during the December solstice. The so-called Amazonian Stonehenge in Brazil's northernmost state, Amapa, is believed to have been constructed over a thousand years ago, but the site was only discovered in 2006. Taking its name from a nearby stream called the Rego Grande, the stone arrangement comprises 127 blocks of granite standing upright in a circle over 98 feet across. Each of the blocks stands up to 13 feet tall and weighs several tons. The Amazon Stonehenge may have been used as a place of worship as well as for astronomical observations. While the United Kingdom's Stonehenge is thought to date back to 3000 BC to 2000 BC, this monument was constructed later, around a thousand years ago, some 500 years before Europeans began colonizing this part of the Amazon. And that's why the indigenous people here may have been more sophisticated than archaeologists first thought. Despite not knowing the exact use of the Rego Grande site, most scientists agree that it alludes to a pre-Columbian society that was ahead of its time in many ways. Number 12, Aliens in the Jungle. As biologically diverse as the Amazon is, this peculiar creature would not appear to be a natural inhabitant of the Brazilian jungle, or Earth for that matter. Standing just a few feet from a mesmerizing flashing light, this unidentified being could offer proof that we're not alone in the universe. It's claimed to have been filmed by two British tourists visiting the region of the Amazon. While the camera is focused on some young children, seen in the distance behind them is a silvery light. However, it's only when the eyes are diverted to the surrounding jungle does it become apparent that there's a small being standing beside a tree. Listen, I said it earlier. When I looked up that thing this morning on my phone, it, asked, it posed the question, are they hiding in plain sight? I, I'm starting to think so. Is it the unmistakable form of a so-called alien? No explanation is offered as to what the light may be. While for many, the images can simply be dismissed as a well-executed hoax, there are people who believe that this sighting proves the existence of aliens. What do you think? It comes from an area known for experiencing intense UFO activity, and some say the aliens are interested in this region due to its biological diversity. Plus, there are rumors that the area was also the focus of a high-level Brazilian government investigation where the army was sent in to monitor and confirm an alien presence in the region. Number 11. Mapinguri. Could there be a Bigfoot in the Amazon? A creature that for the longest time has been said to roam the rainforest of Brazil. But with the theory of a long thought to be extinct being behind these so-called Bigfoot sightings, it could prove to be real. The vast Amazonian jungles are said to harbor a huge monster that's wrapped in mystery and local legend, the Mapinguri. Though the beast's physical descriptions may resemble- yeah, That would make sense though. That would, that would make more sense than some of the sightings we have here. That and him being in the Amazon, that would make a lot more sense to me. Well, the Sasquatch of North America or the Yeti of Himalayan lore, the comparison stopped there. Unlike its counterparts elsewhere, the creature does not flee human contact, but aggressively hunts us. Yikes. Nearly every tribe in these regions has a word for the creature, which can usually be translated as the roaring animal. They say it has a body of a giant bear, the backward turned clawed feet like those of a giant armadillo. 
the face appears monkey or even human-like, and a roar like endless thunder. Some legends even attribute its powers to the supernatural, but all accounts agree that the creature is tall, about seven feet, its upright bulk disconcertingly human-like when it stands on two legs, that it emits a strong, extremely nauseating and disabling smell. Bigfoot? How about Big Stink? I said about seven foot. So we got this big, giant Shaquille O'Neal looking. Did anybody else think about Shaq when he said seven foot? Big Shaquille O'Neal looking animal creature, Sasquatch slash whatever out there. And imagine running into it in the dark. Out. No. Thank you. <laughs> Number 10. Mysterious Silk Hinge. You're not gonna believe this, but this mysterious spider craft towers out of silk. Look at this cool footage of a spider oh. spinning an intricate version of Stonehenge called Silk Hinge. Strange structures featuring a central tower of silk with a fence of silk spires surrounding it, confounding scientists with its intricate creations. Okay, get to how it's gonna kill you though. Not only are the clever spiders still unidentified, no one has ever seen the arachnids actually make these works of art. But if there's good reason for these silk structures that sort of resemble a white picket fence surrounding a tower, spider babies. However, still more mysteries surround Silk Hinge. For one thing, scientists don't know what kind of spider creates it. DNA testing didn't match any known species. Of course, not all known species have had their DNA sequenced, and baby spiders are difficult to identify by appearance, so the researcher's next big task is to catch an adult in the act of building one. As for the silk fence, it may protect the eggs by keeping out water, or perhaps its function is to ward off parasites or predators. But inside, new spiders are getting ready to enter the world. Number nine, strange pink dolphins. Dolphins are some of the most loved marine animals in the world, though most people are only familiar with dolphin species that live in the ocean. But the Amazon dolphin, also known as the pink river dolphin, or bodo, lives only in fresh water. It's fine. It's okay, y'all. We're not high. We actually did see pink dolphins, all right? <laughs> and, uh, I had to make sure. Throughout much of the Amazon River basins, it's obviously famous for its pink color, but many don't know that it also comes in a variety of other shades. The dolphins actually start off gray when they're young and slowly turn pink as they get older. However, the truth is that the bodo, one of the few remaining freshwater dolphin species on Earth, is still something of an enigma. Out of the five freshwater species of dolphins, the pink river dolphin comes out on top. Measuring up to nine feet and weighing up to 400 pounds, living up to 30 years, they also have unusually large brains with roughly 40% more brain capacity than humans. These dolphins are incredibly curious and outgoing animals. They have also been known to be fairly interactive with humans in the region, and the good news is that they are relatively abundant freshwater dolphins with an estimated population in the tens of thousands. Number 8. Trees That Walk Of the more than 80,000 plant species that scientists estimate the forests of the Amazon may be home to, perhaps one of the most unusual is the walking palm. Like the ints from the J.R.R. Tolkien's epic Lord of the Rings saga, these trees actually move. The interesting fact about this type of tree is that it employs a method for moving on when the soil is stripped of its nutrients by producing new aerial roots that reach through the jungle. Yo, somebody think just like me. I was like, yo, I was thinking in my head like, that would be a dope spot to put a hammock. Then they scroll to the right, you see a hammock. <laughs> the walking palm is able- We so lazy. <laughs> ...would very slowly relocate to another part of the forest floor. Specifically, nutrient-rich soil and access to life-giving sunlight. They've adapted this way because these trees must compete with the neighboring trees in the forest. The trunk of this slender palm tree emerges from a cone-like set of aerial roots, visible above the ground. Acting like stilts, these roots keep the trunk raised above the forest floor. Some reports have claimed that this palm may be able to move up to 50 feet from its original position, in a process that can take years. Plus, its straight and slender main trunk has been used in the construction of huts or for making spears. The yellow fruits of the walking palm are edible, and traditionally its roots have also been used by forest-dwelling peoples in their medicinal practices. Number 7. Plastic-Eating Fungus While scientists and fungus experts are in the know about these organisms' ability to- 
Did y'all even think about that being in the Amazon? Plastic eating fungus? No, we think about the snakes and the big, it's all kind of stuff that'll get you, bro. They eat plastic, it's big news to most of us, and now they're trying to figure out how this fungus can help the planet and actively attack one of humankind's biggest pollution problems, plastic. Could a solution to various environmental issues be solved with a secret from the Amazon jungle? The experts think so. This fungus in the Amazon's rainforest can degrade and utilize the common plastic polyurethane. A mushroom that eats plastic? Even better, the fungi are capable of surviving on plastic alone. It consumes it, which is the main ingredient, and converts it into organic matter. They can also live without oxygen. That's why it makes for the perfect candidate of cleaning up landfills. Scientists even believe their plastic consuming skills could be applied in the household setting. Now that's how you make lemonade out of lemons, bro. I thought he was going totally downhill with this. He actually found, they actually found a positive. In theory, these miracle fungi could be utilized in at-home recycling kits. In addition, community recycling centers could have fungi systems built in to utilize this process. Now here's the fun part. They're edible, but before you chow down, more studies are needed to determine the safety of feasting on these mushrooms. But in the meantime, let them eat all the excess plastic they want. Number six, evil genius spider decoy. Found for the first time near the Amazon, these cycloza spiders do something a little creepy to fool predators. They build giant replicas of themselves out of insect corpses. We're not kidding. They're much bigger, elaborate decoy spiders hang in its web to trick anything that wants to eat them. The artful arthropod crafts its decoys from dead insects, debris, and leaves a defense mechanism. It's believed to be a new species, a genus that includes other sculpting arachnids, but none of which have been observed to build replicas with multiple spidery legs. Such sites are not out of the ordinary for the Amazon, but as you get closer, the apparently decomposing arthropod can begin to wobble back and forth as if it were alive. But don't forget, that spider form you're looking at is actually made up of tiny bits of leaf, debris, and dead bugs. Clever, right? But creepy. It turns out the master designer behind this somewhat creepy form is in fact a tiny spider. However, even among the decoy building species of Cyclosa, decoys with legs and the web shaking behavior have not been observed before. There's a first time for everything extracted. Look at how they, they there, they like, let, let him drop. He dropped, he's ours. From seeds from the Anato tree. Their shelter, huts made of leaves and wood, are surrounded by gardens of manioc, bananas, and papaya. They're members of one of Earth's last uncontacted tribes who live in the thick rainforest along the Brazilian Peruvian frontier, thought never to have any contact with the outside world. I think this is the first video that showed their actual hut and where they live at and stuff like that. Normally it's just them at the edge of the, of the ocean, like them standing there with their spears and stuff, looking towards what may be a helicopter or something. I've never seen that part of it. Number four, mysterious boiling river. Welcome to the hottest river in the world and not because it's a popular place to visit. The river is actually boiling. Travelers with a sense of humor have even used it to fry an egg, even make a cup of tea. That's how hot it is. In a rainforest of Amazonian Peru, scientists and explorers discovered the world's largest thermal river, running hot for nearly four miles. Some parts of the river are said to be so hot that various animals that have fallen in have boiled instantly. So don't even try to go for a swim. Fed by both boiling and near boiling hot springs, the river also feeds several thermal waterfalls along its length, the most impressive of which is a 20 foot drop into a large thermal pool. While the river's extreme temperatures are not unusual for a geothermal surface like this, it's deemed remarkable in that it's non-volcanic. The nearest active volcanic area is hundreds of miles away. In fact, and this river is said to be the crown jewel of an unusual collection of three non-volcanic rivers in the area, but they're much smaller in comparison to the Boiling River. The Boiling River hovers on the boundary between scientific fact and myth. Historically, a place of pilgrimage for shamans and sorcerers, the river now faces increasing threats from poachers, loggers, and squatters. Number three, worst pain known to man. Could you pass the bullet ant test? It's not much unlike sticking your hand into a nest of honeybees. And yeah, that's a thing. 
Here, it's a twist on a test of manhood in the Amazon jungle to be bitten by the largest ant in the world. Native to the western rainforest of South America, the bullet ant reaches over an inch in length. They're fiercely territorial, demonstrating aggressive behavior toward rival ants. Rarely venturing on the forest floor, worker ants forage for small spiders, insects, centipedes, and nectar, one of the bullet ants' staple foods, and it lives in colonies of several thousand ants. And for their bite, it's true that tribes have been known to initiate boys into manhood by enduring a bite from this ant. And that's why it's known as the 24-hour ant. The pain can last a full day, with symptoms described as waves of excruciating pain, temporary paralysis, and shaking in the poison area. There's some good news. Although the venom contains paralyzing neurotoxic peptide, the pain is only located in the area of the bite and the venom doesn't spread to the heart or the brain. Phew. Despite its bad reputation, the ant is normally quite docile towards humans and other larger animals, reserving the use of its mighty sting solely for defense. Number two, beastly centipedes. This centipede sheds and eats its own skin, but it's still hungry for more. And if that isn't bad enough, just look at it. The Amazon's giant centipede is one of the largest centipedes in the world at a length of up to 12 inches. Yeah, a Every time I see that thing, that's an alien, bro. <laughs> foot long centipede is found in various places in the river system. The Amazonian giant centipede is not only very venomous, but it's extremely bad tempered. Centipedes tend to hunt during the night, so for this reason, they almost never come into contact with people. However, insect lovers have been known to keep these in large terrariums as pets. No thanks. Bites reportedly cause severe pain, local swelling, and nausea, although death from bites is rare but not impossible. In fact, one human death has been attributed to this beastly centipede's venom. It's a carnivore that feeds on any other animal it can overpower, including large insects, spiders, millipedes, scorpions, but also small lizards, frogs, snakes, rodents, and small birds. They've even been observed eating bats too. They do this by climbing the walls of caves, then grasp onto the bat with their front legs while using the back legs to secure themselves to the cave wall. Astonishingly, they're able to hold on even while eating. Once secured, they inject prey with paralyzing venom. Then it's supper time. Number one, killer otters. These adorable animals may be fun to watch, but don't be fooled, they're very territorial. Even if a jaguar gets too close, the otters fight back as a team and win. Known throughout much of their range as river wolf, giant otters are amongst the Amazon's top carnivores. The giant otter, the largest of the otters in its total length, is the cousin of the sea and river otters in North America, Europe, and Africa. Here, they prefer habitats where there's easy access to hunting, places in relatively shallow waters. But despite maintaining separate territories, these otters are highly social mammals with activities that include hunting, grooming, resting, and splashing around. This species is diurnal and lives together in family groups numbering up to eight so I wasn't backing down from that anaconda, right? individuals. A family consists of a mated pair and their offspring of several generations. The family members clear an area beside a stream for their living quarters, usually near feeding sites. Sizable burrows are then built under fallen logs. The established territory is then marked by their scent, and if intruders invade the family's territory, the parents will defend to the death if necessary. No matter how it gets in the Amazon jungle, there's no shortage of chilling things to discover. These videos prove it. And since you like us so much, like and subscribe and share this with your friends and family. There's more where that came from. So let's recap what what the Amazon can do to you, right? If the anaconda don't get you, you got these ants that can paralyze you and give you about a 24 hour good pain. Uh, you might run into some pink dolphins. Oh, you just seen some some otters that are super dangerous. They could they could do something. They fear nothing, nothing. They don't back down. What else do we see? A spider that's out here designing webs better than most carpenters I've seen design things. Like, what more do you want? You got a, a, a what, what you call the thing? Sasquatch looking things that's, it ain't, it's, it's pursuing humans. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Seven foot like Shaq. Like, and then, and then, if all else fails, and you're just like, man, I've escaped it all. I'm gonna stop here 
stick my feet in this water. This could be boiling water, bro. <laughs> like, or you run into some people and say, thank God, I found some people. You run into Sentinelese who don't like people, bro. Like, the Amazon has so many different ways to get you, fam. And it's still more. And we're going to keep researching it and, and seeing what else it has. That can take you up out of here quick. All right. So, but anyway, man, y'all get at me in the comment section. Let me know what you think. And uh, yeah, stay away from the Amazon. Shaboy, till next one, I'm gone. Peace.